Good afternoon, Bruce. viewers. Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. Here we are in uh, Brackley Boats in Gravenhurst, Ontario. And you're looking here at Weimer II. She's a 36-foot Manette Shield, uh, built originally for the owner of Naranda Mines. And uh, Paul was telling me that she's got a two-step hull, and apparently she's a complex rebuild. So, Paul, I'm going to let you take it from there. Sure, sure. Yeah, the, uh, it's a very complex bottom and the uh, uh, largest chine I've ever uh, involved in on, on a boat like this. Very, very tall. You can see there um, the, how complex it is, that piece that's on the boat. And um, yeah. the, the, ribs are, the bottom ribs are socketed into the chine. The side ribs are socketed into the chine, so it's very difficult. You can see the size of the hole forward where everything is sort of uh, <coughs> tied into the chine that isn't there. Right? Right. <laughs> it's also a two-step um, hull, and um, so there's three keels and three sections of planking. So we're starting at the back. It's like shingling a, a roof. So we're starting we're starting at the back, and then the next section goes over the back section, and then the forward section goes over the midsection. Wow. So it's, so she's a double planked. Will she be double planked, or is it? She's is not originally double planked. Um, we are double planking this one because the, uh, the owner of this particular boat is in Minnesota, and um, he has a difficult time swelling boats because in, in Minnesota, they um, on on the uh, lake that they're on, the um, they can't have wet boat houses. They have dry boat houses, oh. so everything has to be sort of um, put in the water either with, uh, usually they use like a railway system and some carts. Right. So he had a very hard time soaking the bottom before. Sure. So he wants a traditional, or he wants a, a 3M5200 no soak bottom where he can just plop it in and he doesn't have to worry about swelling anymore. Right. So we're still using the traditional framework and uh, everything's riveted together like it was and it's gonna look much the same except the outer planking is two layers. Wow. So it's a little bit different. She's a pretty massive boat. It's big. Any idea when she'll be finished, Paul? Uh, this spring. Wow. This spring. Wow. So you're going to have one excited owner on your hands. And you can see what Paul's talking about to you. Is look at the way these ribs are attached to the planking. Incredible, incredible amount of work and detail. Quite a project, Paul. The boat we're looking at here, viewers, is a 64 Shepherd, 22-footer. What a monster beamy boat. Uh, Paul's working on refinishing her, Paul and his staff, Jeremy and Rick. And uh, she's getting new upholstery, uh, re-chromed, uh, new fittings, I, uh, pardon me, uh, you know, up, upgraded fittings, I suppose. And the engine's still in her, by the look of it. Quite straight lines on this boat. I know shepherds have a reputation for pounding in heavy water because their hulls are often flatter than some of the other classic boat boats uh, on the water. Be another happy owner when she's finished too.